Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the SFTP command to copy files to and from a remote server. And if you're not familiar, SFTP stands for Secure FTP. And if you're not familiar, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So we got Secure File Transfer Protocol. And all that means is that when you're copying these files, when you're uploading them or downloading them from your remote server, everything's gonna be encrypted. So from the time it leaves the remote server to the time it gets to your local computer and vice versa, all of the data will be encrypted so nobody can read it in plain text like a bad actor or a hacker or anything like that. So um, we're basically gonna copy a an entire static website up to a remote FTP server using the SFTP command on the command line. This will work for any operating system, Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, and if that is something you guys wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so I'm on a Mac. Um, we're gonna use terminal. If you're on Linux, you'll also use terminal window to issue the FTP commands, specifically SFTP commands. Um, I might mix up the two in this video, but I, anytime I say FTP, I always mean SFTP. Um, and if you're on Windows, you want to use the command prompt. It's uh, Windows command line, so um, you can access that by going to your start menu, search, and then typing in CMD, hit enter, and you'll get a command prompt uh, where SFTP should be installed. Um, okay, and then we have our website here that we're going to be working with today. We'll get into this in a little bit, but I just want to know, let you guys know that that exists. The first thing we want to do actually is to log into the SFTP server, and we can do that by typing the command SFTP, the username, in my case, it's Lemonade. And I'm going to assume that you have uh, FTP credentials. Um, and then the domain name is TonyFlorida.me. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to prompt me for my password. I'll type that in. I think I got that right. Nope, I got it wrong. All right, second time's a charm. So now we are connected, we're authenticated with the SFTP server. As we can see here, all of our commands will be prefixed with SFTP at this point forward. Um, and in case you're new to this whole thing, um, like I said, I'm assuming you have access to an uh, FTP server. Uh, in the background here, I have a a graphical user interface, a GUI for my FTP server, which is hosted at dreamhost.com. It's a hosting company. And um, the domain name, the, the, the server that we're working with is tonyflorida.me, which at this point you can't, there's not much in this directory here. We just have the couple fav icons. And if we go to the actual website, tonyflorida.me, you'll see that there is not a website, but by the end of this tutorial, we're gonna take the website from our local computer here and move that up to the remote server so we can actually see an actual website um, being hosted at tonyflorida.me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, we can issue commands. There, there's just, you just gotta keep in mind that there's two file systems here that we're working with, our local file system and our remote file system. So um, I'll explain the difference here. So if you just type in ls, if you're familiar with these type of commands, uh, we'll list out the directory content. So this is on the remote server. So, um, and if you're not, if you're familiar as well, CD is the change directory command. So we can go into the tonyflorida.me folder and do another LS in here. And you'll see those two fav icons that we just looked at. Now that all those commands were issued on the remote server. If we wanna look at our local computer, then we pretty much have to prefix those commands with an L for um, local. So basically what, I mean, what that means is L, LS for local list. And this is what we're looking at locally on our current directory. And we can do LPWD to see where we're actually at on our local computer, print working directory. And then we can do an LCD to go into our desktop, for example. And then LLS, we'll see the websites directory. And LCD, local change directory, to go into the website directory. And then LLS, we'll see our assets, elements.html, generic.html, images, and index.html, which corresponds directly to uh, what we're seeing over here in the websites directory. So um, the goal here, like I said, is to copy all of these files up to the remote FTP server. And that's actually a very simple thing to do. But before we do that, I wanna show you how to first download files from the remote server. So um, Let's do a question mark here. These are all the commands that we can execute. We saw a couple of these LLS, LCD, 
regular LS. Um, in order to get the files from the remote server, it's actually pretty straightforward. You can use the get command. So let's type in get. And um, because we have those, let's remind you, we have two files up here, uh, these two favicon files. If you wanna get both of those files, we can use, we can either type favicon.gif and then execute that and then favicon.ico get that. But we know both of them um, exist up there at this point. We can actually do a asterisk, which is like a wildcard. So that's gonna download both of those files at once. So hit enter and it's getting those two files. It says it here in the output and you'll see over here that um, those two files now exist locally on our current computer in our current working directory. Okay, so um, we don't really need those. I just wanted to demonstrate downloading files. So let's go ahead and get rid of them. Now, like I promised, let's uh, show you how to upload files. So in order to do that, we can use the put command, which is the opposite of get. So put is gonna upload files to the remote server. And because we're working with directories, okay, so we have all of these files in the root of our website's directory, but then we have folders and then inside of folders, we have more subdirectories and then we finally have files. So in order to recursively copy everything, uh, we want to give it the dash R flag. And you can see that here, uh, do, 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 here, dash R. So that's gonna be recursive. So we can do put dash R everything in our current working directory. And let me just remind you, this is our current working directory. So we're gonna do put dash R, everything in our current working directory, and that's gonna upload everything to the remote server. Hit enter, and it's starting to do that. So you can see it did our assets, it went into the JavaScript directory, got all those JavaScript files. It's getting our images, and finally the index.html file. So that was pretty quick, it didn't take that long. At this point, um, if we do an LS for the remote listing of what's on the remote FTP server, we now see that in addition to the fav icons, we see um, everything that was local is now remote. So let's confirm that in the GUI here. Let's refresh this and we should see um, assets, images, all the HTML files. And at this point, let's see if we can refresh the page and see our actual website here, and we do. So um, this is everything that was contained in the static website. We got all of our images, all of our design, our layout, um, all the resources, CSS, uh, JavaScript have been copied up and it is making this working website. So um, hopefully this gives you guys a better idea about how to use the SFTP command to um, copy files to and from a remote server. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I have some other videos about how to transfer files um, to remote servers. We can use S S S C SCP, secure copy, and stuff like that. So um, check out some videos over here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.